Good afternoon. Today is June the 5th, 2020. This is the Service Hero Show. 365 days of awesome. Celebrate success through service. My name is Tamara Hunter. And today we have a service hero that has served my community of chemo buddies for life already in such an amazing, beautiful way. Her name is Madeline. How do you say your last name correctly? Viella. Viella. That is beautiful. I love it. Madeline, let me just tell you, this woman is amazing. And she is actually very humble. Let me tell you this. I did some studying today on our dear service hero because I just knew that there was more to our amazing Madeline than she sent over to me. I asked, I said, okay, send me over a bio. It was nice, it was professional, and it gave me that much of really what it is that this woman does. Let me share with you, we have in our midst a world-renowned performer, a woman that has her own lines of graphics, clothing, jewelry, books need i continue and say more and they are all branded under her name her images and her style which is kind of like take it out there and excuse the language but take it in a badass courage way <laughs> i am so excited to be introducing you melon you are absolutely not only a service hero. You are a superstar in my book. Oh my gosh, my heart. Thank you so much. You're giving me God bumps. <laughs> well, you know, let's just say that, and, and here's Barbara Beckley. Barbara Beckley is hey Barbara. the one that actually introduced you to our community and you were gracious enough for those that may not know, we have every evening within the Chemo Buddies for Life community and closed group, we support our community and we get together for a lot of laughs and fun and humor, hope and heart. And, and we have different subject matter every evening and different uh, hosts. And on Saturday evenings, it's Success Saturdays with Barbara Beckley. And you were gracious enough to come in and we had so much fun. It was my honor. I had a blast. And we have some of our buddies showing up now. We have one of our senior ambassadors, Sherry McQueen. So glad you're here. We have our ambassador of the chat, the one that's always looking for her purple pen, <laughs> Helene Wilson. She's actually one of my buddies. And she is saying hello to you. Hello, and, hello. And, it, and it looks as though we do have one of our board members, one of our buddies, Skip Thomas. He's always funny, too, and wise. Uh, and, uh, yes, yeah, she is unbelievable. He loves you. And, oh, may Thank I you. say he's also a performer, singer, uh, Emmy Award winning documentary guy, you know, all that neat stuff. And he actually um, sings and plays guitar and writes music. And Barbara, our dear Barbara, inspired him and, and along with our community to write a song for our uh, for the Chemo Buddies for Life in our organization. And it is absolutely beautiful and amazing. I know you would love it. it, it just so much, so That's much fabulous. Talent. Yeah, yeah. And Yes, she can sing. Yes, <laughs> she can. We do know that, that you have an amazing voice. Thank you. And um, Helene is laughing out loud. I love it. I love it. And um, she is saying, uh, Scooby-Doo is in the house looking for my purple book. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't know, we are always, it's kind of a where's Waldo and it's purple because, it. you know, purple is the universal color for cancer. And awesome. so, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, some games. So let's talk. <laughs> 
I'm scared now. <laughs> no, don't be. No, don't be. Because, okay, this woman, let me just tell you, I love, love, love. I love it when someone is has so much going on and they're so humble. They're about serving others. That's a true service hero, servant's heart. And that's what you have. You have a true servant's heart. And when I started discovering, when I was discovering, I literally had to keep doing this. Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you, okay, okay. And then it was like, oh, I love that. I love this, I love it, you know? And another connection, I have to say, do you remember when you did that not long ago? Yes. Did you know that I'm one of the executive training directors? I've just been, I've been kind of like um, taking a little bit of a hiatus lately with with what we've been doing with chemo buddies and everything. But I'm like the movement maker person that. within that organization, and I noticed because it was like, oh my goodness, and could we have more people in common? Because Sony, you uh, know. <laughs> is one of them uh, you know and and she's usually my roommate whenever we're doing anything with speaker chat like right. isn't she and this is how small and i'm bringing this up guys because and and i was looking at all of this and i'm thinking okay this person in common this person in common this person in common right. and we met because of a chat however this is how small the world is mm. you know because not only that, but then like I was looking and and I, I love Coco, you know, and you've got Coco and then you've got, um, you know, the, our, our the world's America's mom, you know, and Lachelle and I, all of these people. And and I'm thinking, OK, not an accident, not an accident. There are no accidents, if I may say so. And also, I think that there the world is separated by different energies so the smaller your world is that means that it's that dense in energy that's those people in that same energetic field and you know not everybody's gonna like us right and that's good because then i don't have to you know toss out stuff that i don't want to toss out but it's true we get connected can I tell you a story about that? I would love a story. Okay, so I was overseas with some friends. I was performing and I had met someone who uh, went overseas as a dental hygienist exchange student. And oh, look, you got me on stage. I love it. So, <laughs> um, she was talking about someone on a bus in Switzerland. And who was behind her? That person yes right yeah so you always i think and i'm always working on me always and gosh knows i am not perfect and i am a work in progress i i am the dumbest person in the room i'm always learning and the more i find myself being who i am at all times Ah, oh, Skip, I love it. Don't hold back. At all times, that's what authentic is. It's not how you are on stage or how you are in front of people or how you are at the dinner party. It's being basically who you are no matter what. Once you close that door, nine out of ten people turn into something different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They turn into something different. And I'm pretty transparent when I'm out there. I talk about all my shortcomings you know and and when i was reading more about because i then i had to verify because okay i'm finding <laughs> these type of images guys i mean okay buddies for life chemo buddies for life come on let's talk did you know did you know did you know okay so these look at these okay this is all sorts of different types of images and and we're gonna this is just a skimming of the icebergs here or you know top of the the the, the pennies here i mean we we I, I i can't even tell you which ones i like more Aww. i i am completely 
100% in love with all. It, it, it's like, okay, look at this. Beautiful. Thank you These so are much. all your designs. Because when you were a kid, and we were talking about this before we started, and that was, you know, like I was complimenting you on your branding. And what did you tell me? I did it all myself because I do graphics. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, oh, yes, I know that now. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because, I mean, look at this. I, I, I absolutely love the look and feel. And, um, and then the fact that you have your memes and you have the base and then you'll work them out just slightly different and i'm like oh this is just good stuff and i love that, that too. isn't that what we do with ourselves and that's why we need an authentic base we, right. we build on that right exactly and i love this when it's familiar i do it anyway or unfamiliar i do it anyway at the very least i'll learn yeah oh yes so true and then your commitment will be tested over and 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 over never stops it never stops and i love it because you're a coach yes and and mentor two different things right very very true and so you said what about your red heel so I, I laugh a lot. I have a lot of fun. And when I coach or mentor, whatever I'm doing, even when I'm speaking, I always joke around. But there's times sometimes when I have to put down that big red heel. The big red heel. Get it? Wink, wink, guys. You know, uh, did you notice the red heel and all the branding? I mean, let's just look at up here. There with the the M and the red heel. I'll get a better image over here. And and I absolutely love the whole look and feel of it because you're sharing who it is that you are. What makes you unique? What makes you you know a reason for for someone to come and spend time with you and the colors the look the everything it's just like yes oh, so you like it <laughs> I, I absolutely do and i'm going on and on and i don't usually but yes total disclosure right now um uh and i'm actually preston from the speakers pathway coalition he um and i have been talking because i'm right in the middle and skip to and many people of of some branding for myself and so it's like you know whenever you're buying a car you look in there you see all you those see it all over yeah. the place right yeah right exactly so you know it, yeah i thought how perfect timing because little did i know you were into graphic arts because you never said it in your bio the one there's a reason for that you want me to share I would love for you to share. Okay. So here's the reason. Um, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of professionals, experts, whatever, I don't like titles, but they would say to me, you know, you're going to confuse people. You need to just put one thing. And I said, but I'm not one thing. And I go back to like the Renaissance men. Could you tell them, you know, what? Well, nope, you, you, you're a painter. You can't, uh, you know, talk about medicine. Uh, you know, you're doing this, so you can't talk about light bulbs. I, and I just, I have like a real, what do I want to say? Like a crook in my side, like a thorn in my side. I don't want people to hold back. So luckily with doing a lot of my, I do a lot of uh, mindset work for myself. I'm studying some quantum mechanics right now. Oh, cool. Cool. And because I want to know more and I want to be the best I can be. Mm -hmm. And so I've been learning more about marrying everything together. So okay. this just came up recently where it's fearless visibility and then everything comes under that i love it because yep. you absolutely i will say because you know 
anybody that has multiple brands, anybody that's involved in, you know, that, that, you know, like has different things going on. I've had the same thing like, okay, yeah, you need to say you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's like, okay, got it. So then it's like, how do you marry your life? Because, you know, for so long, I will say, because this is a part of even your story, is that like when when you have different chapters in your life, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so you you go, you're you're an international singing sensation performer. Okay, before that, I mean you're a kid, you're you're artistic, you it's like you said, you know, you want something, you go and do it too. You know, you don't just have it handed to you, you you do it. And and then you are you go to school and then you go into business and you know it's like you have different chapters in your life that you distinctly are very different it's like yeah. left brain right brain left brain right brain yes. cross brain you know okay which way are we going you know left or right right now and and yet the thing I like about these days right now, and I love what you're studying right now, and thank goodness for it, is because in truth, for so many years, even in my own life, I started compartmentalizing, and it was like my life wasn't my full life. It's right. like, okay, what what part of my life, what life was that? No, it's all one life. It's, it's all, all one it's it's all under the umbrella of madeline right it's exactly. all under the umbrella of tamara or helene or sherry or skip or any cinnamon Anyone. yes hello cinnamon so glad you're with us we have some of our friends showing up i love it i love, I love it that name cinnamon mm. yes <laughs> i love it hello family look at this hello family hope everyone is having a fabulous day absolutely so nice. nice yes you have beautiful people in your um in your group um they all seem to just really meld together you know mm -hmm. and i like that thank you you know and i will say this is is that the the melding together and and i like how you put that because the 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 common thread is a common thread that many people never want to really face however it has needed it has needed this movement it has needed people coming together to say all right you don't have the power anymore we're taking the power back and we're taking it back with humor with hope with heart with a lot of hugs and a tremendous amount of love because yes. it's like we were talking about with the love frequency and how we can we can actually be healing through that connection right absolutely and you know there was a time in my life when if you were to say to me well you could raise your frequency i'd be like what what am i like a thermometer right. but it's so true mm -hmm. and just to share this with everyone I've been working, not working, it's actually the easier you make your life, the more things happen. This is crazy, but we like being a little weird. I know I do. <laughs> a little weird is good. It's kind of like a little salt, a little pepper, a little weird, you know, ooh, yum. So when we let go, I think a lot, I love it. <laughs> Those are the best I want to pair. Uh, okay okay red right yeah, i love those so what i want to say to everyone is that sometimes take time to be silent and put everything out of your head because in the end it's just like it says in matthew physician heal thyself we can heal ourselves from so many things you we are a community of love and healing sherry i love that one of the things that i have learned too is that i may have mentioned this when i was uh when that lovely barbara interviewed me um we have like 13 to 1400 brain cells in our heart we've got brain cells throughout our bodies this is just something people are learning right and i'm like 
yes, I get it. That's why. So that's why everything we say, everything we do brings us power because words are not powerful. Words are power. Yes. So yes. I do walk around and say, everything always works out for me. My bank account could be empty. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I will tell you that these things work. And to each and every one of you beauties here, that includes you too, Skip. <laughs> He's saying heart brain, things, heart brain. Heart brain, yes. Say the things that you wish other people would have said to you that you want them to say to you. I've learned to talk to myself like the little Madeline. Uh, right. And you yeah. know, sometimes she wants to interrupt my thoughts with something <laughs> negative and I go, all right, look, let's, let's discuss that later. Right now I'm going to stay in progress right now I'm creating. And you know what? You could be cooking a pancake and you're creating, give yourself credit for every freaking thing you do you get out of bed you're creating mm -hmm. get out of bed it's like this so this is a line and in the middle it says okay when you wake up you're okay you get out of bed you're already plus <laughs> everything you do after that you're plus 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 so you're so good you're so enough it's almost like there is, and scientists have proven this, that it's like mind damage across the world, around the globe. One of the things that people believe is that they're just not enough. <gasps> Ow. Yeah. Uh -uh. Right. I right. was one of those people. Right. Right. You're, and, and the thing that I love about you, too, is your authentic truth you know you just put it out there like okay and it even means it even means that much more that you are now that i know some of the things and the jig is up with you know like really what it is and who you are and what you've created to to you know today and 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 i know that you, this is only just the beginning because look at what you're up to and amazing stuff and not only are you creating now you're helping others to create also and that is that's you know, fun too. that's a lot of fun and and i want to just say because you know i told you i'm dating these shows and again it's june the 5th 2020 and anybody that understands the relevance of these days that we're dating right now there's a lot going on and your ability to say okay i've i've been there where i've i've felt this way i've been there when life has turned on me Not i've been in the there. <laughs> right and i've been there when when I've had to pivot and turn and change and, and many times and, and, you, and look, and look at that smile, that <laughs> attitude, that get up and plus, like you woke up plus get out of bed. You get a lot of pluses and you know, you just keep going from there. And that is so relevant to today's world. And so many people need to hear it. You know what I think, and, and I agree with you 100%, Tamara. It's a Tamara, Tamara. It's whatever you want to call me. It's Tamara is what Tamara. I go by. Okay. Yeah, there's a long story to it, and I won't tell it right now. But yeah, no, that's Tamara. okay. That's, I actually knew a, a, a Tamara in high school. We got in trouble, to, not in high school, in grammar school. We got in trouble together. Anyway. Oh, how fun. So, <laughs> it's already a good relationship. There you go. I love it. Whatever's going on out there, I first of all, my condolences and empathy to those who have lost lives, right. who have lost friends, family. I get that. However, what is going on out there? It, it's going on out here. It is not going on in here. You know, I I don't know what's going to happen in an hour. I could get the big come to me from the sky at some point who knows but while i'm here i'm going to say a word i'm going to kick some ass while yeah. i'm here i'm kicking ass don't get in the way 
You want to come with me? Absolutely. I will show you how. I have been there. I have fallen off a five foot stage and kept singing. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm not surprised. You just keep doing. And yet when I had those moments where I was so depressed, yeah. yes, I come out and say it. Do you realize how much it would have helped me had someone been out there saying, yes, depression's a real thing. It doesn't mean that you're a nut job. It doesn't mean you're sick. It doesn't mean anything. What we're doing now is just a part of evolution. But many of us have already been there. Mm -hmm. We already knew it, but we were afraid to say, because people tell you, you'd be a little bit crazy, woman. <laughs> and they're or yeah, or they're looking at you and they're going, uh, that's woo woo. Number one, <laughs> no BS, no fluff. I don't walk around with the Pollyanna umbrella. You know, I will tell you the way it is. Right. That's how I learned, and I tell myself the way it is because we have a tendency to lie to ourselves. It's natural, it's not your fault, but we also now have the tools. And the awareness of neuroplasticity so that we can rewire our brains. Right. Yes. Yes. Now we know that we can. What I've learned that what we put in the world comes back to us eventually. Yes. And cinnamon, mm, love that name. Uh, <laughs> it, here's the thing. When, well, there's many things. This is just... Whatever is going on, it's not your fault. You didn't do it. It is not your job to grieve for the world because if you grieve for the world, you are hurting your health. You are hurting yourself. The energy you're putting out there is hurting everyone else. Yes, and I know all about grieving. You know, I've lost parents and the whole nine yards. However, you can call it karma. You can call it whatever. It, it used to be Newtonian. Uh, action gets reaction or whatever. I probably have that backwards, but so be it. But now we know that it's more than that. Now we're aware of the fact that it's not so much action reaction. What it is, is the universe responds to you. God responds to you. So if you're giving $50, don't expect that. $50 is going to come floating. Someone may smile at you. Someone may give you a call. Hey, I was just thinking about you. That is abundance. We tend to think that abundance is always money. As you all know, health is the number one thing. As you yeah. all know, uh, being in a beautiful community like this is, is something that is on top of the list cinnamon i'm named after a character on the original mission i love it i love it i just love all of this so fun and what the easiest thing to be in life is yourself the easiest thing to be in life the most power the most empowered that you will ever be is make a decision to be yourself, but it's not the decision, it's the action. Right. So we make lots of decisions, but then you've got to act. Doesn't mean you have to act in that moment, but the quicker, the better. Right. If we have a right. tendency to then start thinking, because you know, the brain is, there's three brains, right? We've got the reptilian brain back here that ha it holds all those negative stories. You know, and like maybe you had a bad date or maybe you ate somewhere and you never go back because that one little meal was so bad. Everybody, everything deserves a second chance. Most of all, you. Most of all, you. You deserve as many chances as it takes for you to learn whatever lesson that it is that you need to be learning. I love that. Whatever the lesson is, if it keeps coming back, it's time to stop, take a pause, breathe. Where are you? Figure out what that pattern is. I was just talking to a um, 
a past client of mine. We're going to start working together again. And I said, you know, here's something I, I would like for you to do. Write down all the things that you're doing that you're still doing. And I want you to highlight all the words that are similar. Then I want you to now go to another page, write all those words down. Okay. Now you're going to go to the third page and every single one of those words, I want you to find the positive opposite. That's the result that you want. That's the result that you want. And you don't need a guru to help you do that. Um, yes, we do not do things on our own. Absolutely. I know because I coach and mentor. But there are things that we can do on our own. And that's one that's very simple and extremely powerful. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, you know, <clears throat> we, we of course, our tag within Chemo Buddies is healing through connections. And one of the one of the aspects, because there's three aspects there, it's the connection within ourselves, you know, healing within ourselves, healing with connecting with a buddy, and then healing connecting within the community, right? And so it's that self buddy community. And it is absolutely, I mean, it's critical, it's job critical. I mean, my doctors and nurses when when they were convincing myself and my original buddy to do something because they saw something unique in us. And that was that so many people need this because so many people are feeling alone. And if you're feeling alone and you're jeopardized because of some kind of a health issue, it's job critical. It's life critical to, to have that healing take place and and so you're so right and Snoop is saying yes oh i can we will that's the song that's the name of the song oh, i, I can it. we will uh rewire uh neuroplasty uh epigenetics, epigenetics. Oh, love yeah. it yeah. the true science of today isn't that the truth it's the truth it's the truth and you know here it's like i explain it to people I'm dating myself. I'm like, okay, you got a record, right? <laughs> oh, and so, and I'm the there. Mural, oh, thank you, Cinnamon. Took two years to decide on it. I um, love it. I love it. I yeah. and I saw the 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 different stages of it, and that's where I was even. Okay, is this really her? And I was comparing, and it's like, yes, that's her. I I love what you. Yeah, I love it. Okay. As a matter of fact, I was going to insert here, if I may, because I want to prove to everyone that reach out, even if you get a no, who cares? At least you did it. It's the action. So I'm applying for a um, hair commercial. Yes, I oh, love it. Yes. And I figure, what the heck? Try it. Try it. Try it. The key is to always stay on top. I forgot what I was saying, but it's okay. Because well, we were talking about epigenetics and epigenetics, your oh, sorry. So the record. Yeah. So when a record would get the needle would get stuck in the yeah. groove, we mm -hmm. would put a penny on top to give it a little weight so it would move out of that groove. So what you do now is your mind is like that record and it's stuck in that groove. So the thinking that you need to change, the negative thinking, the reptilian brain, switch that, flip that switch, and that adds the weight to it so that you can move out of that. And that's how you start rewiring. Okay. That makes so much sense. And, and you know, it's, it's a, amazing. When we did, uh, our community did a 36 hour live event where we were on for 36 hours. Yeah. I was the host the whole 36 hours and Barbara was awake with me the whole time. Cause she was over our, wow. our yeah. And, and so we had amazing amounts of people involved. It was to bring awareness to our community and such things. And we had scientific people uh, that came in and taught us about epigenetics oh, and about it. you know sign uh, way you know the frequency waves and all of this and how it really does go hand in glove when you're going through anything 
the life experience. Let's just put it that way, because nothing in life ends up being exactly perfect. That's not designed not to be. Thing. Uh uh no. We're humans. We're humans, and 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 like, who do you choose to be in these ten seconds? Every ten seconds, we're changing because we're made up of energy and cells that are moving around. It's like we you don't ever have to ask your heart to hey heart, you want to beat? <laughs> like when's the last time you thanked your organs? Thank you, heart. Thank you so much for pumping life in me all the time. Thank you so much. Because even when I'm acting like a spoiled brat, you still pump. You know? <laughs> or even if I'm acting like an idiot, you still pump. So, you know, our bodies are also, our mind, our body are so also meant to work in tandem. Mm -hmm. So when one thing is out of whack, that shows us that we want to get everything else in alignment and that helps us. And you know, the thing to be is uplifted as much as you can. Hey, listen, I am not uplifted 365, <laughs> 24-7, never. You, I'll be like, nah, today is the day I'm going to watch me a few Netflix movies. We're human. Oh, good. Uh, so you just gave me permission. Okay, good. Because you know we, we you know, because I mean, uh, truthfully, you know, everybody has the that moment in time, especially when you have a mission and a purpose and everything. It's like, okay, often, and and I actually got called on this. Actually, got a phone call yesterday on this very subject. Kind of like, okay, now back to again the self-care back to you need to be able to chill need to be able to sleep you need to be able to do these things and then you can show up ready yes. that much more you can you can be in that healthier state and one of the things i did notice in what you were talking about and some and i no need to be perfect to be happy i love this one love it um is that you were talking about that there was a time that you actually when you were talking about being depressed and 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 everything that it physically took a toll on you and 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 then you then said okay flip it and go forward but it was a two-year process right and and i think that people need to hear these things too because of the fact that when when especially in our community which this is the public page but a lot of the people that like this show are people that understand that we have a community that right. we support and whenever you have trauma or and and changes that take place and oftentimes if you hear that you have cancer it can be that it's Dramatic, especially because, and this is what I call the medical cartel, because people scare the living bejesus out of everyone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that fear adds to an illness. Yeah. That fear diminishes the strength of our immune system. That fear causes us not to be able to think straight. That fear keeps us in the corner as opposed to like just badassery and <laughs> run out and filling your space. And it happens to all of us. But the more I learn, the more I act on it, the more I understand that guess who's in control? Me. I get to take all the courage and I also get, I mean, I get to take all the, the mistakes and all the whatever's gone wrong, but I also get to take all the credit. Exactly. I love this image here too. <laughs> you can take, uh, you can't take, let's see, you can't knock a woman off a pedestal she built for herself. Now I love the shoes. I love the books. I love the whole thing. You know, it's like a great image to, and it's right there on your Facebook page. It's like, yes, lady, you got it going on. You are just all about, here you go. And, 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 uh, and I love the white with the black or the, the red, you know, it's like, okay, we, 
we are taking our high heels. We are wearing them. We are wearing them proudly. We are going out there and being authentic and you know what cur courage all of the above and and uh, skip is saying fear equal low vibration keeps us from bad ass i love it skip <laughs> oh you got it and you know what i, I want to just say this if i may oh absolutely please being a badass, being the diva, which for me is divine, intuitive, valuable, able, none of that means to be aggressive. None of that means to be disrespectful. None of that means to be mean. All of that means that you can stand in a room with 90 people jib gibbering and jabbering and be quiet because you're a good listener. That's what a badass does. They have all the skills that they need to the person they want to know the best is the bank manager. <laughs> your bottom line, your health first your family and friends, and then the money that you're making. And we all need to learn to love our money. Susie Orman said this years ago, respect your money. But as we've become more aware, start loving. I love my money because it allows me to pay the mortgage and pay the, it allows me to do more. It allows me to maybe do something for someone else. I want to see what Cinnamon has because my dad had yeah. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah, I, yeah, or, stage four melanoma. The ER also said that couldn't treat me because I was uninsured. See, things like this just piss me off. Mm -hmm. Things like this piss me off. We are human beings. And whatever mm -hmm. a human being needs when it comes to health, they should mm -hmm. have absolutely absolutely so i am so sorry cinnamon that happened to you but i also want to give you kudos because you are here exactly and let me tell you this the thing about our community too is that in us banding together number one when we are bringing that frequency that love up and the humor and everything that's extending that's helping us that's healing us for the moment and then with all of us coming together by golly jill willikers we're going to change some stuff we are going to be able to go up on capitol hill we'll be able to go and and make it a fairer playing ground for some things that possibly need to have that happen and i'm not trying to be political here guys and my soapbox wink wink but really i am in some ways because it you know when you have a community that we do when we're talking about life you know let's 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 help our people to heal through connection. Let's help us to have the opportunity to live our lives in the chapters or full out story, whatever it is that you want to do, but that's your choice, how you want to live it. We just want to be able to help with that so we can. And I love, I love, love, love the fact that you told and are so open about this so okay apparently insurance said melanoma is preventable which yeah no no and and i will say too because my brother is a, the story of chemo buddies for life is that five people four generations of which one of them's my brother he was a melanoma he is alive mm -hmm. but you know he was in his early 20s when it was found mm -hmm. it wasn't anything that he did asking for a melanoma that is and so this is where with us building our numbers and being able to then say okay we want to educate you about the facts and as patients and as a community we're not raising the funds for any kind of treatment or anything like that there's plenty of them doing that we are supporting our people and in supporting our people we need to be able to get our messages out there and if we need to get if we need to talk to the insurance company, if we need to talk with the Capitol Hill, if we need to whatever it may be to make it and so that the laws work, you know, the truth is nearly everybody has someone that they know that's had cancer, either themselves or someone very close I to them. I did, but it left and I just, 
I won't get into that, but here's the thing. Again, here's the thing. I don't know here's why. The thing. I that here's the thing. I um, love it. Here's one of the things. Okay. I believe and I feel that education on keeping ourselves healthy um, and, and so many people maybe didn't know and have been afflicted with cancer. Um, mine was probably anger because it was located right in the uterus up toward the stomach, which is like your root chakra. Right. And it never came back. Mm -hmm. I had a kidney operation. They told me I'd be back every year. That was a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Then yes. I just it's mindset. I was in the yes. hospital all crushed up from an accident. We're gonna be in here for about six months, three weeks. I was out. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I was bruised and everything, but what I want to say to the community is you have more power than you know. Right. You have power so powerful that it's scary. I know that because it scared the heck out of me and it still does, but I'm breaking through little by little. Mm -hmm. and it's not bravado. It's true confidence. It's true. Stand on your own damn heels. Even if you're a guy, stand in your sneakers. If you don't wear heels, stand in your bare feet. I don't care. But put your feet on the ground and know that you are going to live every single minute to your absolute best. Don't listen to people. Don't em employ negativity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, negativity mm -hmm. comes up. I did an experiment, may I share? Oh, please do. We're, they're loving it. I'm just going to okay. bring up because I want to, I want to finish the loop with cinnamon apparently. Okay. So that we had that one. So then she says that luckily the hospital I was in for MRSA was oh. able to get it and uh, get her on disability. Wonderful. And then, then the caseworker at the hospital did help. And so, you know, then that right there, again, this yeah. is the thing I love about service and service heroes, because that hospital person that helped her, the caseworker, that's a service hero. The, everywhere there's people that are willing to listen, there's willing to go over and above, they're willing to find a solution and and yes many times and 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 then sherry is saying positive thoughts make positive actions absolutely and and we talk about this a lot because of what you're sharing right now and we truly believe that whole we had a whole thing about it on wellness wednesday or what's up wednesday in that the the frequency and the vibrations and the belief systems and and the energy and collective and individual that we can be raising it and what they say in science miracles can happen and they do um when we laugh our brains shoot off chemicals and our endorphins go crazy and have a blast yeah. So they're up there like Cirque du Soleil on acid having fun. <laughs> what happens, the rest of our body is feeling that because we don't work just one piece. Everything's feeling that. So when you're laughing and you're getting all those endorphins going, that whole body is feeling better. It's like mm -hmm. if I feel a little down, I'll watch something funny. But I want to tell you about my experiment because I would like to be sure that people hear this. Um, I was saying, why is everybody so freaked out? Why is everybody so crazed about all of this? Stay in, wear a mask, da da da. I put the news on. I don't watch TV. I choose what I want to know about. And usually I get it from people who are in the industry or in the know or whatever. So I put the news on. Oh my God, it was like someone threw darts at my brain and the negativity. And I thought, you know what, just like what we're talking about here, you're not hearing that. 
You're hearing all the nasty stuff. You only hear what they want you to hear. And unfortunately, the media is, you know, and I feel bad for some of the reporters and journalists. They know that the best way to make more money is to like get that wow factor. Well, you know what? Death and fear to me isn't a wow factor. It's like, Go the F away from me, okay? Right, right, right. Tell me right. something good, like this lovely woman at the hospital. Right, exactly. Tell me something good. So I realized that, and even with all my skills and all the techniques I know, it took me like the next day, I was like, uh, what was that? I was like, whoa. You know, like that emoji with the top of your head blown off? Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, you know, and this is where, you know, I'm so grateful you're here with us as a service hero because you're sharing right now exactly what a service hero is all about. Why this show is all that's here. It's inspiring stories to inspire others. That's what we need to be doing. And you are sharing very wonderful, multiple inspiring stories about how you know, you you have been there. You've done that. You've reworked yourself. I would love for you. I'm going to uh, uh, let's see what Skip is saying. Uh, he's saying, uh, ha ha. I love that news. It is. Starts it is brain. Starts in the brain. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. I was like, ow, 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 <laughs> ow. Oh, it was terrible. But I wanted to do this experiment and I'm like, OK, no more. Yeah, right. And you're not the only one that's actually done this. Uh, there's been a few of my friends that have done the same thing. And one of them said she was in a position, you know, and, and different things because they're not used to, to going there. And it's like, don't need to, don't need to. If you need to know something, you'll, you'll, fi you'll find out. Plenty of people will tell you if it's really necessary. But to, to open yourself up to that because that's where the frequency you know and so you understand this you've been studying i love the fact that you now are bringing your collective and and thank you for allowing me to kind of share your collective story because i mean really when you think about it you you have an amazing voice you sang for us for a few moments in in the closed group it is absolutely incredible so you have an incredible voice Thank we've you. established the fact that you have incredible talent in the graphics and the drawing and the and the the clothing and i mean just all aspects of what it is that you do the the ceramics and the jewelry and just everything you have the ability to share fun and everything and if you need to use your heels your red heels uh you know uh, as a mentor as a coach and you also i mean gosh you know you go back to school to become a lawyer you've got the business piece in you you know you've got the business piece you've got the graphic piece you've got the art piece you've got the performance piece what is it you know it's like you just have the whole badassery Excuse the language, guys, but you know, but so does everyone. There's exactly one thing. And I wasn't a lawyer, I was a top paralegal and executive okay. assistant. Okay. Because uh, okay. I don't want to put the wrong thing out there. Okay. It's all mindset. Even though I suffered, see now that mindset, those pieces, instead of two years in the gap of crap, are much shorter maybe a couple days, maybe an hour. But that was like a two year thing. You know, that is what all of this has helped me do. And now that I know that that's what I teach and what I coach on, it's what I mentor on, I speak on it, I'm writing on it. Because to me, I feel that Whoever gets this information, their life's going to be easier if they absorb it. Right. I mean, right. you know that old saying, you can't take, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Absolutely. I can tell you anything, but if you don't apply it. Yeah, right, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, 
do you have something coming soon? Uh, this already happened. I do have what's coming soon is uh, my master class. Okay. I have a free five day master class. Uh, it's I was just doing the promo for it. It starts on Monday and it's in a group called Fearless Visibility Master Class. I invite you all to come in. It is 20 to 30 minute videos every day at 11 a.m. And it's all about visibility, but not just this. I mean, I do that too in my programs. I do like the whole Zoom thing. You need practical, tactical. If I can't do it, I have resources. But mm -hmm. this is, if you want to be visible, I mean, I'm talking, this is Madeline talking to you. This is Madeline talking to you. You know, I mean, do I go to bed in shorts and I'm not going to do that here? Yeah, but this is Madeline talking to you. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any problem telling you that. I have no problem telling you that I was depressed because I have the confidence. So this class, this master class, is to get people to start seeing what it really means to be visible and why they shouldn't be afraid to get the heck online if that's where their business is going by default. Do not sit in the pity pot in the dirty diaper because you're an adult. Mm -hmm. Get up out of the crap now and make it work for you. So I am there to help people start doing that. Put your big girl panties on and get over it. I love it. One of your images. I love that. That is just <laughs> adorable. Yes. Very well said, too. <laughs> so I think maybe now that you're telling me that you really enjoy the images, I may go ahead and put them on T-shirts. Oh, yes. I vote for yes. Absolutely okay. vote for yes. I will I, do it. I vote for yes. Absolutely. Because they're adorable. They're Thank adorable. Thank you. I am going to drop down from the line for just a moment. I'm going to give you a few seconds to give us an inspirational thought, a nugget that you feel that that you would like to share, and then I'll come back up, and then we will close out the show. So I always say this to everyone. People may ask you, you know, what do you, what would you tell your younger self? I would tell myself, and I tell you, trust yourself. Your higher self is there to protect, to nourish, and to pour everything that you ever even couldn't even think of. It's there for you. We are the ones that put barriers up. So one thing is trust yourself. I love it. Trust yourself. Sounds easy. No. Yeah. Not always, right? No, it you know, the simplest things are usually not easy, but when you are a results-driven person and you want to feel better, you want to do better, I call them appetizer principles. Appetizer you do little bits every day. Oh, that's good. That's, that's the next step. Yeah, oh, I love that. I you love know, appetizers, just a little every day. By the end of 30 days, you're like a whole 30% better. Okay, you're hearing from the group. You're hearing from the buddies. Yes, 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 and yes, yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay, wonderful. I will. And then uh, Sherry wants to know about the class again. And in fact, um, if you want to afterwards, too, if you want to put comments in about it and any okay. information. Please do. Um, for now, and you're, and you're in our, our closed group, you're welcome to, you know. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I just want to tell Sherry that um, I am working on the uh, promo, which I will get done tonight. It'll be on my page, and I will share that into the group. And the name of the group that you're going to want to look for by Sunday is Fearless Visibility Masterclass. There's three questions. One of them is an email, and all three questions have to be answered. 
Okay, and that's a free class because since it's a free class, then yes, we yes. allow for the free classes to come into the buddies because of course we want the buddies to be continually finding reasons to keep going and healing through, you know? Keep going, keep moving. Um, yes. You know, at the end of the master class, I'll be transparent. There will be an offer to work further with me, but the master class is free. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you because you know what? it's so important for us to continue every day. It's like you said, when we wake up and we get out of bed, we get points, we get brownie points, we get positives, we get, you know, it's like plus one, plus two, plus three. And, and yes. marketing is so important. It is just critically important. And, and we're doing the same thing. We're, um, in fact, I will say this, any of the buddies, um, we are having a class two about how to do the production piece for our chats. And so that they can, uh, if they want to be either in production behind the scene, or even if they want to come on. Oh, I love it. Isn't it cool? Cause it's that awesome. So, cool. so that we're going to teach about how to do it with the software that we use and everything. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So, you know, I just want to say personally, Thank you for your love. You're Thank welcome. you for being who you are and 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 being so generous with all of us because you really are. You you are just amazing. You're a loving soul. Oof, my heart. You're a beautiful woman and and I, we just love you. I just Thank love you. you. Oh my God, I am so honored. It's such a pleasure. Oh, absolutely. And so, you know, you're a part of the community anytime. In fact, I'll tell you this sometime you, I would love for you to come up. Friday nights are our TGIF Fridays, right? And oh, buddies, I'm giving an open invitation for you guys to come online with us if you want. It's going to be fun. Skip actually did a video that he's going to be sharing tonight too. Uh, he loves you too. Um, and, and so, um, uh, let's see, you are being an awesome guest on the show. Oh Thank you. my gosh. Cinnamon, my pleasure. So I want to give you an invitation too. If ever there's a Friday, you want to come and join with us. We do a lot of sometimes like, um, MJ's Raven, the, the only woman, Michael Jackson impersonator and skip, he sings and some of the other, uh, Andrea Banfield, some of the other ones, sometimes on Friday nights, they'll come and we'll do like little jam sessions or something online and make it fun. Like a is little it party. A webinar or is it be live? It, it, it? It's, yeah, it's just to be live. If we have more than four, then we do it with a stream yard. Cause we can have up to six. Oh, people. I love stream yard. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we do it in the chat. And so it's behind the, you know, the wall, if you will, it's in our closed area. And, uh, we just have, it's our, it's our fun, you know, fun. Can I bring a glass of wine? Oh, absolutely. It's adult friendly. <laughs> yeah. Adult friendly. I mean, adult friendly in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, we keep it, we keep it clean, but yes. Not that kind of adult. Just a, just, just a little bit of wine. Oh no, you're good. You're good. We've done that before. In fact, one night and I we're a little late, but that's okay. I we're good. Uh one night we were doing something like this and they were like, Okay, moonshine? I'm like, oh interesting. <laughs> oh, you know, it was fun I though. Love it. I love it. You guys yeah. are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So yes, in fact, if you're free tonight, let me know and I'll send you a link and you can come on in. It's what uh, time is it? It's always the same time. You're Eastern, right? So it's eight o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock to nine. Okay. I'm not a Friday, Friday, but not every Friday. Okay. We'll save a Friday for us and, and we'll have you in. So as we close today, the service hero show 365 days of awesome celebrate success through service. Madeline, you are a service hero. We have determined that you are a giving soul that has shared authentically your life. The fact that in the imperfect perfectness of your perfect imperfect life, mm -hmm. you have found a way with your high heel red shoes to find a, you know, a courage stand and just kick it to the curb and be on finding your girl, big girl panties and finding a way and joyful way to live your life and serve others. 
what a delightful, amazing human being you are with beautiful hair and you should get oh that God. haircut. Thank you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> just say whatever you want. And and just, you know, I just know it's heartfelt. We just I love do, it. And that's why I'm like choked. I do know. I can feel that. I mean, what you're doing here is fabulous. Thank you. It's Thank fabulous. You. We agree. We agree 100%. Yeah. We do. And your crew here, I'm going to call them your crew. I'm, I'm pointing to the, the chat box. Uh -huh. They're amazing. They are. All amazing. So much energy. I can feel it. It's really wonderful. So I just feel so fulfilled. Thank you for having me. Well, hugs and love to everyone. Uh -huh. Cinnamon, well said. I'll leave it on that. Have a great evening. And buddies, meet us in the chat tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific eight o'clock Eastern. And let me just tell you, you do not want to miss tonight. And if you miss it live, you got to watch it in replay. You'll have to watch it in replay because the video that's being shared tonight with Skip, ha, you do not want to miss it. It is going to be legendary. Let me just tell you that legendary. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>